Arthrix's ultra minimally invasive transferaminal endoscopic approach for an L5S1 discectomy procedure utilizes an endoscope to assist for access and visualization. Place the patient in the prone position. Based on the preoperative MRI or CT, use the C arm to verify the correct level using both AP and lateral images. Mark a line through the center of the disc space. Mark the midline. Mark a line along the bottom of the contralateral pedicle to the top of the ipsilateral pedicle. Vertically place the tip of the instrument anterior to the disc and perpendicular to the dorsal skin surface. Mark the instrument at the intersection. Using the distance marked on the instrument in step 4, mark that distance off of the midline on the skin. The incision location is where the line intersects with the pedicle line. Mark the incision. Insert an introducer needle while utilizing AP and lateral to ensure the needle avoids neural structures. Remove the stylet and place a guide wire. Use a scalpel to make an incision to accommodate the outer diameter of the dilators and cannula. Sequentially place dilators over the guide wire. Place the cannula with the orientation of the cannula opening toward the exiting nerve root. Depending on the surgeon preference, the patient's anatomy, tree finds, rasps, or burrs can be used to remove bone to provide visualization and access for the endoscope. The cannula inserted, and while maintaining the desired trajectory and depth, connect the cannula holder and insert the endoscope with the depth stop in place. Insert a series of endoscopic tools, including graspers, the electrosurgery probe, and others through the working channel of the endoscope to remove excess tissue, coagulate blood vessels, and to provide visualization and access to the disc pathology. Arthrix offers a unique wishbone handle design that allows for improved ergonomics and mobility of the instrument by the surgeon. Upon visually identifying the herniation or disc fragments, apply downward pressure with the cannula over the annular defect. Use various graspers and endoscopic instruments for tissue removal and decompression of the affected neural elements. Use a hook and ball tip probe, along with direct visualization, to ensure all fragments have been removed and the discectomy and decompression are complete prior to the removal of the endoscope and cannula.